We're back on Leading Edge. She's Paula Hicks Hudson, former mayor of Toledo, represents the 44th Ohio House District down in Columbus. They had a wild time this week trying to get a budget passed back and forth. Hey, folks, we're getting income tax cuts in Ohio. One year ago, right now, at the end of June and early July, the governor was ordering billions cut from public education because of the pandemic. So how did we get so rich? And speaking of rich, this 3% income tax cut will really put most of the give back into the pockets of the wealthy, won't it? Yes, yes, it will. And to answer your question real quickly, that this bill, this tax cut is going to cost the state of Ohio about $1.6 billion. And so I think what they're doing is taking the the idea is to take the federal dollars that are coming in, which is about $1.8 billion. And so they're going to swap it out so that you can um, get this, this um, if you're in the middle to lower tax bracket, a few, a few dollars. If you're in the, a higher tax bracket, a little bit more, but not really enough that I think will make a dent. But it's a good, it's a good political, you know, piece of well, everybody uh, gets theory. Yeah. yeah, we got yeah, elections coming. Elections coming up next year. And hey, we cut you in taxes. I read just, I think it was earlier this morning, I read uh, about, about the top 1% in Ohio will actually get about 30% of the of the cash in the, in these tax cuts. But, Correct. Uh, Absolutely. But here's the thing. What, what, what could we do if we had, um, okay, if I do fast, 3.3, 3. Uh, 3, okay, I can't add. That's why I'm not a, a doctor. But 3.4 <laughs> Um, billion dollars that we could use to fix infrastructure, take care of uh, some of the issues that are facing us at the local level. But no, we're going to give tax credit, a tax break to people who may not even really need it. And when other okay. folks really, when the state needs so much more. Okay, got a couple more minutes to go here. ProMedica's okay. insurance arm Paramount got bounced earlier this year from Ohio's Medicaid program. Paramount cried foul. There had been language in the budget calling for a redo of the selection process, but that was not included, I'm told, in the final okay. bill. Is Paramount getting screwed in the Medicaid process? I think that, you know, we were very, um, ups I was upset last night to see that the last veto was, was what the, the governor did in terms of not allowing for the, for companies to continue, Ohio companies to continue. And so I believe that, that Paramount did get a short end and what, and was screwed using your term by the, by this process. And, and that's why we fought so hard, our entire Northwest Ohio delegation, to try to, um, to influence and to, and to show to the governor that this is more than just uh, trying to modernize or, or, or going stepping up the quality of care, because there's no question that, the, that Paramount's um, quality of care was one of the top um, contenders and that the, the state Medicaid department even said so, but based upon some some process that they've used from an out-of-state vendor um, that that actually given these these uh, contracts to out-of-state companies. You know, Paramount is at the short is at the short end of the stick based upon this. And this is one of the things that I think we as Northwest Ohio we have to do is really tell our story more and more and not wait till you know we're facing. Um, I won't. I'll call this a crisis, but facing a dilemma that we're we're at the we're at the short end, trying to push forward to really tell the Toledo Northwest Ohio story, and that to me is a bigger thing uh, than than all this other stuff that's going on, and that's one of the things that I've I've you know I've even made a stronger commitment to do right, is to gonna... bring Columbus to Toledo and Toledo to Columbus. Right, stay on it. I'm gonna leave it right there. Much more we get to. Okay. The, you got a hazing bill passed. As somebody who lives in Bowling Green, thank you for finally getting it done. It was passed due. Yes. We finally got it. That was one. great. That well, was thanks. a great thing that we needed to do. State Representative Paula Hicks Hudson, former Thank Toledo you. mayor, keeping us on the leading edge of some very important goings on down there in Columbus and from the State House to City Hall. When I come back, we're catching up on a bunch of city council uh, business when Leading Edge returns. <laughs>